I am finally bringing you probably my most requested video of all time, and that is how to figure out your undertones and how the heck to shade match yourself when you're shopping for foundation. I am here to bring you all the tips and tricks and all the information that I've acquired over the years that has helped me get to the point now where I can shade match anybody in 30 seconds or less. If you're watching this and you're already like, uh, no, there's no way I'm going to spend the time and energy learning my undertones and how to color match myself, that's okay too. If you send me a DM on Instagram with a selfie of the top of your forehead right here to the top of your collarbone, tell me the foundation you want to shade match in. I can shade match you in 30 seconds or less. It's always a free service I provide and I always answer all my DMs, so I will absolutely get back to you. For those of you who are like me and want to learn on your own how to get stuff done, I've got you covered. So it's going to be broken up into three sections. One, how to figure out your undertone. Two, how to shade match yourself in the store. And three, how to shade match yourself online, which let's be honest, is the hardest thing to do. For section one, how to figure out your undertones. I know it can seem overwhelming and very daunting, but it's not too bad. Let me explain. In terms of color, blue means cool, yellow means warm. Easy enough, right? In terms of complexion, cool tones will always pull more pink and peach looking, while warm tones will always pull more yellow and orange depending on the skin tone range. Now, when I say skin tone range, I mean whether you are fair, light, medium, tan, dark, deep. So in terms of skin tone range, think very fair, think milk to dark chocolate. Now, obviously there are a lot of variances between those extremes. However, those are just objects that most of us are familiar with to kind of illustrate what I mean by range. Now, I have one tip. This is the only tip that you need to figure out your undertone compare your skin tone to others. The best, most accurate representation of your actual skin tone color is the underside of your wrist and forearm. This is what I want you to do. Take your arm, hold it like this, and hold it next to somebody else. Friend, family, it doesn't matter. Three or four people will do the trick. When you hold your arm next to someone else's, if yours suddenly looks very yellow, you have warm undertones. If their suddenly looks very yellow, you have cool undertones. If you compare three or four and they kind of flip flop back and forth, you look yellow, they look yellow, you look yellow, they look yellow, chances are pretty good you're a neutral. And that's horrible news because neutrals are just kind of a free for all when it comes to makeup and every brand does them differently. In terms of color, a true neutral should be an olive undertone, which is what I am. But unfortunately, most brands do not make a good olive undertone and thus, I recommend if you are an olive to tend more on the yellow warm side. I'm going to insert a picture here of my arm next to my sister-in-law's arm. I want to give you guys a minute to see whose looks more yellow. Now, if you picked me, you are absolutely right. She has very cool undertones and I have very warm olive undertones. So once you kind of see the comparison, it starts to click. Now, once you've determined if you're warm, cool or neutral, write it down. Make a note in your phone. Put a post-it note on your bathroom mirror, whatever you have to do, because you are going to need this information. It is the most important information that you need for picking out a good foundation shade. Now, let's talk shade matching. So now we're going to talk about shade matching yourself in store. Now this tends to be a little bit easier than shade matching yourself online because you can physically see the product. And if you are shopping for a high-end foundation, you can also use the testers to swatch it physically on the back of your wrist and forearm to see if it truly matches. Now, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind. One, never match foundation to your face. Your face is never the most accurate representation of your skin color. If you tan really easy, if you self tan, if you wear a lot of sunscreen, your face is always going to be lighter and it's never gonna match the rest of your body. So I recommend a couple things. You can either shade match to the inside of your wrist if you are not tan and you don't self tan. If you do, always match the foundation shade to your neck. Your neck is the best representation of what your face color should be in order to match the rest of your body. I'm gonna walk you through the process I use when I am buying a new foundation and I need to pick my foundation shade or I'm doing a shop with me with a client and I'm helping shade match them in store. When I walk into a store and I'm picking a foundation shade, it takes me about sec 10 seconds to look at that person, look at the shade range, pick out one, boom, I'm done. And you're gonna get that quick too, trust me. Okay, so you're walking into Ulta, you head over to the drugstore side. L'Oreal has got some phenomenal foundations, okay? You're looking at the True Match collection. It has 20 plus shades. 
what do I pick? Okay, here's the easiest part. Eliminate the shades you know don't match. If you are my skin tone, I know everything that looks very ivory or white is not going to match. And I know everything that looks really dark or deep is also not going to match. So you can block those shades out. Then you're left with maybe like eight to 10 right in the middle. Okay. Now you're going to look now just, this is, this is also easy. Just eyeball, just pick a shade. Just don't even think about it. Just pick one out of the section that you've eliminated. Okay. Hold it up to the inside of your wrist or your neck, whichever one you prefer. If it's too dark, put it back get a lighter shade. If it's too light, put it back, get a darker shade. Now, if you're really close to your range and you hold it up to your neck and you're like, oh, this looks way too yellow or orange, put it back and pick the one that is directly to the left or right of it. And the reason I say that is because most foundation shades, when they're side by side, the only real difference is the undertone, not the actual shade. I am usually a light, medium, neutral olive. That is the perfect shade for me for my natural skin tone. If I pick one and it looks too pink and say it's a two, chances are the difference between two and 2.5 is just the undertone. So put it back and pick the two that are directly to the left and right of it and then hold those up to your neck. And chances are pretty good one of those is your match. If it's if the bottle looks too yellow, pick one that's a little bit more pink. If the bottle looks too pink, pick the one that looks a little bit more yellow. If you hold the bottle up to your neck and it looks about right, chances are pretty good it's about right. And the thing that you need to understand with foundations is most foundations are never going to be an absolute perfect match for you. But once you finish your makeup, a slight difference in shade is not going to make a difference at all. Now, this is in terms of drugstore since you can't physically use a tester or swatch. This is a tip that I have found very helpful. I don't advocate for wasting product, but if you need to, to find the best shade, buy two or three shades, take them home, swatch them, and return the ones that don't work and keep the one that does. Makeup has great return policies. Even if they're open and used, you can return them, get a full refund or an exchange, no questions asked. If you walk into Ulta and you go to the right side for the high end side, Every foundation has a tester. So just start swatching those babies. Swatch them on your neck, swatch them on the inside of your wrist, whatever that you find helpful. I don't recommend doing it on the face just because there's a lot of germs. And I just, if you have sensitive skin or even if you don't, your face can break out from that. So you can either swatch it on your neck or you can swatch it on the inside of your wrist. And then just find one that looks like it kind of disappears into your skin. That's it. That's all there is to it. Another tip to keep in mind is when you are shopping at Sephora or on the high end side of Ulta or at any specialty makeup counters in department stores, you can request a sample in any high end foundation. Usually it's a pretty good seven to 10 day sample. You can request a couple different shades and bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. We are going to talk about how to shade match yourself online. And this is the hardest Hard because we're dealing with computer screens and, and lighting and, and the kind of lighting they took the picture of and, and it's just can be so heavily distorted that it's really hard sometimes when you're like that looks like the perfect color and then you get it in the mail and you're like oh my gosh absolutely no how could you do me dirty like that okay so I'm going to walk you through the process I use when I shade match my clients through a selfie over Instagram I can I do it predominantly online and it takes me about 30 seconds. So that's the process I'm going to walk you through. I am going to use my own selfie for you guys as reference. So I'm going to insert that here. And then I'm going to walk you through my process. Okay. So the first thing I do is I ask you to send me a selfie. Um, you need to be facing a window or a natural light source. So you can see the true undertone and uh, range of your skin. Once you send me that selfie, I have a pretty good idea by looking at you if you are a warm, cool, and kind of the range that you're in. Okay. So the first thing I do is if you have a specific foundation in mind, I'm going to pull up the full shade range in that foundation online. Okay. Same thing like I'm going to do in store. I can eliminate about half the foundation shades just by looking at them because I know they're not going to match my client. In my case, all of the deep ones gone. All the super fair ones gone. Now I'm only left with eight or 10 once again. Okay. Then is what I'm going to do. And here are a couple things and I have these written down. So I'm going to read them to you. One, just like you did in store, just pick a shade in the little section that you've kind of cut off that you feel like is similar to yours. Pick a shade. Okay. 
And this is what I want you to do. Really, it's just about comparing all the information that's available about the foundation color online and then kind of taking the average of that and choosing what you think will be the best. So these are the things you want to compare. Compare the description. Compare the picture of the bottle of foundation. So the color of the foundation in the bottle that's online. Compare it to the swatch, the singular swatch of foundation that is available. And compare it. Most foundation brands have a a full range swatch on several different skin tones like down the forearm so you can kind of compare okay so those are the four things i really want you to look at here's my rule of thumb if three out of the four match it's accurate if not keep looking so what i mean by that is say i pull up a foundation color and it says light medium warm okay and i say perfect check that matches me. The next thing I'm going to look at is the color of the foundation in the bottle. And I'm just going to look at that and look at my selfie or my selfie of my client. And I'm going to say, okay, is this similar at all? Usually the pictures of foundation in the bottle aren't very accurate. So we're going to say no. So still we only have one out of four. Next thing we're going to look at is the single swatch. And you're like, oh, no, that actually does look kind of similar to my skin tone. Check mark. Now we have two out of four. And then if you go and you look at the swatches on the forearm of the full range and you find your number, you're like 2.5, you're like right there and you're like, oh wait, no, like that actually looks perfect. Check three out of four, order that shade, you're good to go. A couple of things I want you to remember when you are shopping in store, but especially online are these. One, read the reviews online. So people are really good about leaving reviews and will say, oh, they pull super, super warm or they pull super, super cool. They're all so pink. The next thing is to look for patterns. So typically when, when makeup companies pick foundation shades, they can give them like cutesy names, but a lot of foundation, a lot of makeup companies do give them like, like reasonable names like W2.5, which should mean warm 2.5 or C. Now here are the things I want you to look for. W's. W's always represent warm. C's always represent cools. N's always represents neutrals. And sometimes an O means neutral olive or O means olive. So definitely look for those. The other thing is look for patterns in terms of numbers. So when I mentioned earlier that Sometimes the only difference between 2 and 2.5 is the undertone, not actually the shade range. So what you can do is if 2 looks very pink and 2.5 looks very yellow, chances are all their 0.5 shades are going to be warm tones and all of their 0.0 shades are going to be cool tone shades or neutral. So a couple of things to just keep in mind there. Here's my bonus tip, and that is how to pick a concealer shade. We don't want our concealer to match, which makes it so easy. You always want your concealer to be a little bit lighter than your foundation. So once you've picked your foundation, just hold that concealer up to your foundation. And all you need to know is your undertones. Once again, know your undertones. If you're warm, just pick one that's warm, lighter than your foundation. That's it. If you're cool, pick something that is lighter, cool, and lighter than your foundation and you're good to go. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please leave a comment down below with any questions that you have and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube as well as follow me on Instagram where I post daily content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.